Welcome everyone to a new week where we can expand our knowledge and discuss different issues in order to investigate. And this week we will cover certain objectives and we shall assess these objectives at the end of the week by allowing you to form or actually allowing you to solve a self-assessment. To begin with, I'd like to highlight what we're going to do in the first lesson. Uh, the first lesson focuses on a pretest. Now, the purpose of the pretest um, is to assess your prior knowledge and assess your skills. Therefore, there isn't exactly a content for you to review. It is just based on general knowledge, and um, it also reflects your ability to uh, skim and scan texts, to analyze the text, to solve questions, etc. So we will cover these following objectives. You will use your knowledge and understanding to answer the questions, and you shall justify opinions and ideas when answering the questions. Here I want you, when I say justify opinions and ideas, I'd like you to provide examples and explanations. So when you see this question, keep in mind that I want you to provide a real life example. For instance, let's say, um, if I ask you about some achievements in the, in the, in the ancient Egypt, then you could say perhaps uh, the wheel or something with architecture. Okay, this is the point. Where's your example? So they build up the pyramids. So this is now an example and you need to explain how this is considered an achievement. Uh, the second lesson includes the following. You'll read and annotate human achievements, which is on page four and five in your I and S by concept year one book. You will also apply existing knowledge to generate new ideas, products, or processes. And this is um, directly related to an activity that we shall do in the class. Um, please take your time and make sure that you read uh, page four and page four and five. The content is mostly on page four. It is a general synopsis of how we humans have taken part in uh, developing our time and place. And I want you to look through the images and try to deduce what they could mean and what achievements they try to infer. Uh, in regards to the activity, it is in, also in your book on page five. You may skim through it. However, we will do it in class because I want you to go, I want to be a guide and guide you in the research process. For the second lesson, we shall do the, fo the following. We shall discuss what are some of the issues facing the world today. Um, this is pa on uh, page six to seven. We will highlight um, certain issues like war, the environment, uh, politics perhaps. We shall define also new terms. Some of you are not familiar with certain terms, so I'll make sure that I go through them so that I'm sure I'm I ensure that you guys are capable of understanding the entire context, interpreting the data. We will also look on page eight. There is an activity um, highlighting different resources. We will investigate th these resources and interpret the meaning behind these resources. How could this affect us later on through time? The ATLs include communication and critical thinking because you shall interpret and deduce. All in all, these are the, the, the objectives for the three lessons for the following week. And uh, any further assistance that you require, do not hesitate. Either you can email me or on Outlook or you can send me a message on VC. Let's have, have a lovely week.